एंड वो था इक्वली पावरफुल इंस्टीट्यूशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ येल मिशिगन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्सिस हार्वर्ड एम आई टी स्टैनफोर्ड ऑक्सफोर्ड ऑल द टॉप रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंगापुर इन जापान इन यूरोप इन अमेरिका यूर इन आइसर्स यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग लेट से वन टू इंटर्नशिप यू डिड इन इंडिया यू मास्टर प्रोजेक्ट यू डिड इन एब्रॉड इन यूएसए और जर्मनी और लेट से इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया the you already have connection with the professor you already get up got a phd offer right this is how simple it is about almost 2000 crores have been spent to build nizer hi everyone this is the very final year integrated i've seen chemistry at nizer and this is going to be a very important video for all the nizer iser and cbs aspirants now let me tell you about the placement so there are three parts in this first one is placement in academia academia means those who go for uh, further studies for phd so from isers nizer cbs all of these institutes we have a lot of great placement offers phd offers from uh, university of yale michigan university of texas harvard mit stanford oxford all the top research institutes around the world university of singapore in japan in europe in america australia everywhere you see uh, the students from these institutes go and pursue their phd so it is one of the top class research institute in india which give you almost you know guaranteed when when someone comes in iser or nicer and cbs he or she is assumed that the person is going to do phd and the professors have very good network they train them very well in these institutes because overall they even get publication my own friends in uh, bsc and msc they have you know four five research paper itself and that too that person is in biology similarly in chemistry my friends have one or two papers so with such kind of profile and resume with so much experience in internships at various places the, it's very easy to get these international and very good phd offers by the way these in these phd offers they also get stipend and they all the fees and everything is taken care by the institutions the student the phd student does not have to pay a lot of things okay Uh, all the contingency, or you can say the stipend, or you can say as a job salary is given monthly, and depending on the country, it is different. For example, in Europe, is it is two to three thousand euro, depending on the place you are in or the institute you are in. In uh, America, again, it is I think two to three thousand uh, dollars, uh, like that. So it it varies depending on the institute, but yeah, it is like that. uh coming to second part which is industry so the best part i like about isers is that they have very good running placement cell for example in pune kolkata bhopal and there have been so many placements uh from companies like tcs and many pharmaceutical companies uh coming there recruiting students in mathematics and physics they generally take data scientist role which has very good packages again i don't i could not find i tried a lot but i could not find very in detail about these placement offers how much salary they were getting but there are placement cell in isers very well and functional functioning in nizer last year itself or you can say this year itself we started the placement cell and we have also got many phd and uh, msc job offers uh, i i won't say about my offer itself i also got placed and all i will not talk in detail about it but yeah uh, we have started the placement cell at nizer now and we have also uh, got some pharmaceutical companies tcs and all coming to us and recruiting students from here so there is now industry related placement happening slowly it it is very less as compared to the phd offers but it is increasing now and third one is the bark so this is one difference in the placement that from isers you cannot apply directly for the interview of bark scientific officer role but from nizer and cbs since you have already cleared nest examination and you are under institute which comes under department of atomic energy so you can go for the interview directly without even going for the written examination although it is very very hard interview is very hard whether you go for gate through gate examination through direct interview but yeah ultimately you don't have to give a written exam if you are from nizer or cbs to go to bar in various uh, scientific officer role i guess the positions which get released and you can join just after the msc from these this is the entrance exams so as you know that nest exam is actually je advanced level or kvpy level uh, the questions asked in this exam very much will make you think very critically about the subject very in depth as a result uh, it is very hard to get into nizer and cbs already the questions paper is hard and the number of seats are also less but when it comes to uh, isers so there are there were earlier three channels kvpy isers aptitude test and je advanced more than 75% of the seats were taken through isers aptitude test and now the kvpy has been abolished right so for 2023 this year as i have already told uh, in detail about the video from the official notification from kvpy 2021 sa stream they will take student from j advance they will take the students and from iser aptitude test they will take the students so in iser the admission happens through these three channels and as i already told you about this seats so there are almost 
1838 seats at Isles. Uh, now, Isle aptitude test is comparatively easier than J advanced. It is almost J means sometimes above J means level or sometimes at the level of J means examination. Uh, the questions, level of questions I'm talking about. The exam pattern is also different. You need to have section wise cutoff marks in each of the, uh, you know, major three subjects that you will attempt. But in uh, Isle aptitude test, there is no section wise cutoff marks. You can attempt as many sections as you want. Uh, you can attempt uh, or leave any of the sections you want. In next examination, you can do any of the three sections. Best three sections will be taken into account. If you want to know in detail about these exam patterns, how to prepare for these examinations, I have already made detailed strategy videos, how to prepare for them. I have already launched so many crash courses. We have got so many selections, All India Rank 1, All India Rank 12, All India Rank 13. More than 400 of our students are now in these premier research institutes around India. Okay, so please check out our crash courses. We already have revision classes, study materials, mock tests, more than 12 uh, mock tests with detailed solutions, previous papers with detailed solutions, all of them. Doubt clearing classes are there. Private telegram group is there. If you have any other doubt outside the class, you can ask them. So everything is there. You don't need anything outside this. For people who are preparing for next year, uh, IAT or NEST 2024 or 2025, we will launch courses very soon. And depending on when you are watching this video, it might have already been launched. So please check sayastra.com website slash courses section. Or you can also message me personally in Sayastra app. Okay. Whether you take any of my courses or not, you can always message me for any kind of doubt or career counseling regarding these research institutes in India. With that, I hope this video was useful to you. Please like this video right now. It took so much hard work to make this very long video. So please subscribe to this channel. With that, see you at your dream institute. Jai Hind. कोई भी सपना साकार करने के लिए सबसे जरूरी है सही कोच का होना चुनिए साई एस्ट्रा और करें अपने आई एन नेस्ट का सपना साकार डाउनलोड दिया नाउ